Hey folks, this is Matt aka Slash and welcome back to the Vintage Beef fan server. I'm doing some work today on the ballroom or grand hall or whatever you want to call it. Uh, off camera I added some chandeliers, very basic design, just some fences going across there holding this glowstone up and then uh, decided to try out the yellow stained glass panes going around them. I think it gives it a cool look. It almost looks like um, like a fluorescent lighting, I think, uh, rather than chandeliers, but I'm happy with it. I've also gone all the way around the uh, outside here and put a bunch of glowing pumpkins on sticks to provide for some lighting. And I put a whole bunch of dirt on the floor in seemingly random places. <laughs> now, can any of you guess why the dirt is on the floor. Hmm? Any thoughts? Anybody getting it? It is not random. It's not because I haven't swept up. <laughs> this dirt is on the floor because I went through block by block after putting all this other lighting up, and everywhere where there's a dirt block, if the torches weren't here, mobs would be able to spawn on the block underneath. So I did like a lighting survey, and this dirt represents the areas that are not bright enough with the lighting that I have set up around the room. So I got to figure out how I want to handle that, because I really don't want to have light... Uh, out sitting out in the middle of the room anywhere and unlike downstairs i can't just you know knock a block out and put a glowing pumpkin because that's the ceiling of the floor below there might be a handful of places i'd be able to get away with it sort of like maybe over top of the the doorways here if i change these to upside down stairs or something along those lines but I think what I might actually try is I think I might actually try putting a pattern down of half wooden half slabs to make the place look kind of cool. Maybe start, this is more or less the center. Unfortunately, it's m pretty much even numbers, I think, across the room here. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, it's even numbers. So I'm going to have to work out a pattern that works off of that. Uh, and I'd like to try to use all four wood types if I can. So uh, let's just try a little something here. I think maybe uh, let's just get a couple of these wood types down here. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any jungle wood planks, so let's get a few of those so that we have them available. Put those there because I want that on the bar. All right, let's see here. Uh, starting here, what if we did a couple of light blocks and then we go out from there? We go maybe jungle on the corner like that and oak around here like this and then maybe do some spruce around the corners like this and then uh, radiating outward from there maybe we do hmm Hmm, <laughs> that's tricky, because the, the best way to, to handle it would be to have 
some sort of pattern that kind of interlocks. I like the idea of the birch being in the middle. But having some sort of pattern that kind of interlocks with itself so that it has to build out in a certain way. If I go like that and like this, and then maybe I go like that, and then like this, something along those lines. And then, will that end up, suppose we put that there like that, will that end up working if we go like, oops. So repeating that pattern, we got the jungle slabs there, and then these like this, and maybe we could just fill that in like that. Yeah, this could be pretty cool. I'm liking the way that this is turning out, actually. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on getting this half slab pattern down across the whole floor. And uh, then we'll take a look at it, what it looks like when we're all done. And there it is, all finished up. Get a look at it from a couple of angles here. It is a little bit busy. <laughs> There's a lot going on here in this pattern. But I kind of like that because, I mean, this is supposed to be like a grand ballroom kind of place. And uh, I like the idea that in a, in a mansion such as this, that the floor would be kind of uh, garish or tacky, I guess would be the word. Uh, so I, I do rather like the way that this uh, has turned out. I think I'm going to keep it. I can't think of any better plan for it. I, I especially like the different patterns that you can get out of it, like the the uh, cherry or jungle wood here making this sort of arrow pattern and these L's and the uh, birch planks and all that stuff. So uh, this sort of zigzaggy pattern in the oak. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I'm thinking what I might do next, I'll probably do it off camera, is replace underneath these nether brick fences, maybe put nether brick blocks underneath to make it look like they're actually on a stand of some sort uh, and just sort of braced up against the wall as opposed to hanging on the wall. So I'm probably going to give that a shot. Also, um, I take this used to be a, an oak plank here, and I took it out and put a spruce in instead so that it would match with the pattern. And I don't think you can really tell. That would be here. And because of the shadows and whatnot, 
you know, it's supposed to actually be an oak stair. Uh, but I don't think that you'll be able to tell from, you know, casual observation. So I'm just going to leave that as is as well. But my goodness, did this take a massive amount of wooden uh, slabs. This... <laughs> This was pretty ridiculous. But I like that I don't have to really worry about the lighting now. If I have an opportunity to put other lighting in, maybe I will. Uh, but for now, this will do the job. All right, the next thing that I want to work on, this is... You can't even get in it properly right now. Shh. Don't tell the R team about these torches. It's fine. They're only temporary. Uh, this is going to be my bedroom in the house. And so what I need to do next is I need to figure out, uh, how I'm going to handle the floor situation in here because of this being raised up. And I think I might just actually raise this whole thing up. Or maybe I'll just put stairs here. Yeah, I got to figure that out. So, uh, let me ponder that a bit and get back to you. Actually, you know what? This is the perfect time to work on the next part of this project anyway, because i got to figure out how that's going to look on this side before I can even figure out the floor. The next part of the project here is going to be to put the Fancy Pants doors, <laughs> pocket doors, on the uh, entrance to the house here. So the idea is... Let me get some dirt. The idea is that the door is usually here... Piston extended head would be here, so a piston would have to be here. And I want to be able to have this piston go in and out uh, to move the blocks back and forth. So if I have... Where do I have... I don't have. There. Now I have. So I ha if I have that there... And we'll just throw a lever up here on the wall to demonstrate... So I've got that there. If I power these pistons, then this slides out and will be flush with this corner wall, you know, diagonal wall over here. And what I'd like to do is I would like to set it up so that it's uh, similar to the pocket door that goes to the quote-unquote secret storage basement down here, where... When you push the button, it toggles the state of the door via by a, not a bud switch, but a um, monostable circuit. Let's see if I can manage to show it here. Oh, ow. <laughs> I was in the door when it closed. But this button goes into here. This is actually a sticky piston, so it goes up and comes back down, which causes a one tick pulse to flow into these sticky pistons here which results in them leaving the block behind or pulling it back. So I want to set something like that up up here as well, so I can just push a button on either side of the doorway and have the wall sort of open and close for a, a secret, you know, personal chamber. So let's see if we can get that set up here. We've got those, those pistons in place, and I'm going to put the other pistons here, like so, and then that will have those on there like that. And now I gotta figure out where I wanna put the button. I'm thinking one button, it's gonna be two buttons. One button over here somewhere. How much inventory space do I have? I think I can just pick this up. Nope, I was wrong. Let's drop off some of this stuff here. There we go. So I'm thinking a button over here somewhere and the button on the other side. Say maybe... Where's this here? Maybe like here? Something along those lines. So do I have any... Stone. Of course not. 
Do I want it to be stone? I think wood or buttons would stand out fine. So let's make a couple of wooden buttons. And we'll put one on the outside. Say... Kind of needs to be here, I think. And then the other one we'll put on the inside once we have this figured out. So where is that button? Let me put a lever there so I can find it based on the torch output. <laughs> if I break that off, hit that, turn that on, that should be about there. Oh, it is. Perfect. So that is going to be where our signal is going to be coming from. Now, if I want to do a one tick Pulse, I'm going to need another sticky piston, which of course I don't have. So let me go run and get that real quick. Alright, let's see here. Do I have... Alright, let's see. Can we just put the sticky piston... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good job. Can we just put the sticky piston here? Nope. I didn't want to be pushed. I want to be up like that. That's better. And then we would have a block on top of that like so. And then if we come over here like this, I need repeaters. We are. So this will grab the signal. Oh no, wait, it doesn't need to go there, it needs to go there. Uh, which actually means that we need to go something like that, maybe. So I need to get a signal in to there. Oops. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, da, 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 da. And I need redstone. So let's get up here. So we do that and that. Right? No, that needs to be down one. Ah, the joys of doing redstone on camera. Let's see, this needs to be here. Going like so. Alright, now. From there, if we run the signal across, will that move do the pistons? Let's go give it a shot. We have to switch it out for the button again. Oh. I don't have to switch anything out. There was nothing there. Is that not the place? Oh, that was the place. Hmm, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I need... I need that signal. Ah, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Yes, indeed. I need that signal to actually be provided, not directly. So I need it maybe here instead. Let's do that. Oh, but I need it inverted. Oh, this is getting tricky. Because I need the button to turn it on, not off. So what if I go here? And then we go from there. No, that turns that back on. We go from there over to here. And we'll put a block there and some redstone up there. So now we just have to move the button down to this block. 
like so. And we hit it. Perfect, and we hit it again. All right, that's doing the job. Now we just need to send that signal over to the other pistons so that they do the job as well. So can we just go across like that? I think we can. I hope we can. Hit the button. Did that do it? No, that did not do it. Ooh. Get some lag. Uh, why did that not do it? Let's see, can I... I'd like to be able to trigger this from somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, I put a button here. Okay, that did that did the job. Is it not a short enough pulse? Oh, what's what in the world's going on here? It pushed it out and then Hmm. Oh, you know what I think's happening? I think that one's messing me up. That's what I think's happening. Let's try it again now. No, now it's not getting over to the other one at all. Okay, let's redirect this. Because I think what's happening is it's because the... Yippers! I think it's because the uh, signal is hitting the blocks attached to the piston. So... <laughs> Let me get this. Give me that. Thank you. So it's causing it to... <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Have no idea what he's talking about. I'm not sure what a what circretive thing suber suber circretive. I'm thinking that might be uh like a super sweet uh evening meal using artificial sweetener. That's my my best guess. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm so mean with the typos and the uh, the grammar. All right. Oh, it's still not. It's still not doing what I want it to do. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna spend some time trying to figure this out off camera and get back to you. And behold, it works. Huzzah! The other side <laughs> is a mite ugly. But, uh, yeah, I'll get this figured out. I knew I was going to have to encase some redstone in uh, inside of something. And I may yet be able to redo this that it's not sticking out like that. I'm going to try that right now, actually. Let me see if... By doing that, it will still work. Yep, seems fine. So, there we go. So here's how this works. Signal comes from either here, the button's on this block, or here. Well, I don't, this button will be moved somewhere once I get a proper casing around all of this. But it goes to this sticky piston which I had to move one block away from this wall because on the other side, I have trap doors that kept flopping up and down when the redstone got powered. So I had to move it out one. Goes to this sticky piston, the piston goes up. In the meantime, since this redstone is powered and going into this block, it transmits power, or this repeater pulls power out of it. 
but it also goes into this sticky piston. So when the sticky piston goes up, the power is interrupted. So only one tick worth of redstone power actually gets through to that repeater. Which powers this block, which powers the redstone line that goes across the tops of everything. Uh, yeah, good enough. So, and I can do that from either side. So I can have the, I have the button there that does the job, and I've got a button here that does the job. And once I get a shell on this, then uh, I'll be able to put the button wherever I want, basically. Oh, and I don't need that. That's not part of the mechanism. So, finally, <laughs> I got that bit of a project done. And it took me quite a while. So, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, there is one more redstone project I wanted to tackle, but we can work on that next time. So, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in that next episode.